What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today it's time for something very, very special. So apparently shop up a baby 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 keep two has been out in 1.0 and I didn't even know it because like during early access this game they released a patch and it broke the game for me for like a year straight so that I couldn't play it. I'm sure there's been those among you who have been like, how come Splattercat hasn't played shop shop up 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 keep two? Well, the answer to that question is that it's been broken for me. It ran at like two frames per second, and like with the most recent patch, it now works. I can finally play the game. So let's play single player. So we gotta select our business. Hold on, I gotta select my character first. I don't know if I wanna play this guy. I don't know if he's that cool. We gotta look at the character creation and see if it's changed at all. No, I'm not gonna be Shopapi Keeper. I'm gonna be, hmm, what should our name be? I think our name should be... I think our name is gonna be Cheddar Lord. There we go. That sounds like a pretty good name for a character. Now we gotta pick our hair color. And I can do that. We're doing the MMO thing. I feel it. I feel it. Uh, how do I get, like, brown hair? Got brown hair around here. That's kind of blondish. It's not really what I'm going for. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. Now we got it covered. My eye color will probably be something similar. I feel like that's a really good choice. I got like hazel eyes in real life, so I'm gonna have hazel eyes in game too, all right? I don't know what it says about me in life that like, oh my God, these bars are changing everywhere. I don't know what it says about me in life that my character always has to kind of look like me. Oh, we get to choose what our chest looks like? I like that one right there. It's the most magic-y. I'm gonna take that one. magic matters, okay? We can have different hair, we can have a fro. We can have it tied back. Okay. All right. I was thinking about going for something like a little bit more understated. What is that right there? We've got the sexy hair. Apparently, that's sexy hair right there. I had no idea. I learned a new thing today. Well, I'll probably just go with something simple then. I'm going to be super unoriginal. Can I have big old beefy eyebrows? There we go. Give him the mono brow. That's what I'm feeling right there. I want to I want a brow that inspires confidence. We can have scars. All right, we'll have a scar. Why not throw it on there? I'd like to have a full beard if I can like you got to give me Oh, we can't have like a full-on like awesome beard But why though? All right, I guess I'll have that beard right there But I want you to note my disappointment right now. I can have a tattoo on my face Where is the twinkle star at? I don't even know where they put that. I'm not sure that I want to know. Well, maybe we should avoid the face tattoo right now. We're trying to, like, run an establishment of repute. And I, I think that's kind of harder to do when you've got tattoos on your face. So apparently we have shopkeep for life. We have a geography or a geology... Geometry. There we go. Geometry standard, I guess. Eh. Not particularly feeling any of those tattoos. Then again, I'm kind of choosing. Oh, yeah, chest hair. There you go. Slap that on. That sounds good. We've got like a rose right there. What is Cipollini? Indeed, I have never heard of it. I don't even know what that is. We can have swords of fire on our tummy. All right, let's do it. Everybody knows that manly men that get manly sword tattoos use words like tummy. There we go. Muns are life. We got to get that cash. Oh, we can have like the tramp stamp too. Nice. Let's do that. You'll never die. Apparently, we can have salt shakers. Sure. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Apparently, I can have leg tattoos, too. That's kind of wild. You can have all kinds of tattoos. I, I don't even really care that much. I don't know. Apparently, the tattoos are very specific in this game. Weak shank. Top. What does it say? I can't tell what it says. Yeah, I'm going to have a coin tower on my ankle because we're all about that money. Oh, I thought I clicked through, but we didn't click through. We're all good now. So there's Cheddar Lord. We have manly tattoos. Everybody will bask in the glory of our ability to bear needle. All right, let's go back. We're going to go to single player. Then we got to be like Cheddar Lord. Hold on, did we pick Cheddar Lord? Did we pick the proper character? I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay, we picked the right character. So we got to pick what our sigil looks like. I like the green. The skulls are a little edgy for me, but I do like the goat. The goat's pretty cool. I think that actually looks really good right there. I think that looks solid. That's a pretty good color palette right there. I feel it. Uh, our business name is going to be called The Cheddary. There we go. We are now officially The Cheddary, the place where the cheddar is forged. 
Ooh, ooh, the Ched Smith. There it is. We've got it. All right, we are now a proud owner. We offer you a keepsake hat. Cause th yes, give me the keepsake hat. I would love to have a keepsake hat. I've got a normal crappy top hat. I want that top hat right there. It's got beers attached to it. Does it do anything? Apparently, it gives me plus four bow ties. I don't know what bow ties do, but it gives me some of them. All right, so we've got our broom, our dear old friend, the broom. There it is right there, just in case you were wondering. We can sweep the road. Yep, sweeping the road. Said I'm sweeping the road. Oh, we've gotten better at movement. Nice. Well, here's our shop. We started out with 300 muns. That's not very much muns. Do we have any more money running around anywhere? Can I have some more muns? What does this guy want? Father Edward, what do you have? Apparently, he has a quest called Under the Table. Try selling some items to some customers while interacting with them. Okay. What was your dialogue? They're long forgotten, or at least they were. This changes things. They're ruins of an ancient worship site built by ethereals west of town. Last time anybody saw an ethereal was when the town flew red flags a long, long time ago. Okay. I'm going to stop interacting with you. I can read relevant information. Nothing seems different than usual. Carry on. What does that say, though? Come back tomorrow. Well, then maybe I will. Can I go inside of here? What do you guys have going on? We have Sir Poshington. All right. All right. Well, Sir Poshington doesn't appear to have anything going on else. And if you want to know the real reason for that cut right there, it's because I had to sneeze. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to I'm not going to try to fool you with the glitz and glamour of this YouTube life. Uh, no, I just had to sneeze. Seriously. Uh, apparently, I have a vault where there is like some monies or something. What? I can get 500 bucks. Yeah, dude, get 500 bucks. Apparently, I have 1300 bucks now. All right. I have way more money than I used to have. I was broke, and now I'm swimming in cash. Apparently, my movement is getting better. So we got to buy some pedestals. We're going to need to buy some things. I remember that from the first game. We need to buy some things that we can put our items on top of. Got any new stock? It's limited, but as the town is upgraded, I will have more to sell. Come back later. Is it like on the table or something? Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Oh, really? A pedestal is only 25? Okay. Yeah, let's get like... I don't know, like six of them? I don't know how crazy I want to go right now. We can also get a table. So there we go. We've got a table. I've got to place these inside of my shop now. If I recall correctly, aren't there like garbage cans or something I can dive down on into like a raccoon? I vaguely remember being able to like, yeah, dig through trash or something. Yeah, dude, we found $54 in the trash can. I knew there was a reason I became homeless. All right. Is there, are there any other trash cans around? Listen, I don't have a home. I just have a shop. It's basically being homeless. All right. All right. Okay. Well, we now have pedestals and stuff, so I would suggest that we kind of, like, get these things going. I'm going to put a pedestal right there. Yes. I'm going to put a pedestal right there. Yes. Pedestal right there. Absolutely. Couldn't look better. You're doing it, man. You're running a store. There it is. Perfect. So we've got some pedestals now. And then we've got a, a table that we can put around here. I would suggest that maybe we put this super fine table right there by the front door. So the table is done. Let's go. I think I order items through here. What items can I order? So we've got a poor shirt. Maybe later we'll have a better description. We have a red mask. Okay. We have cloth gloves, which we can add to our list. You know the feeling when your hands are getting wet after the snow fight? You better get leather ones. We've got a town guard's shoulder. Okay. We've got a rock on a stick. We've got an ugly ring. We have some shorts. And none of these items appear to have any type of description. Oh, wow. They give you a bunch of stuff at the beginning of the game you can sell. I don't think that apples are going to be a super high margin item. So, like, let's add... We'll get, like, some shoes. Yeah, we're just going to be like a shoe store, and then like we'll get like a couple rocks on a stick, a couple shoulders, a couple masks, some gloves, a shirt. Yes. Well, apparently I can unlock items, too. I can use rating points that customers grant you to unlock better and pricier items. Nice. Well, there goes all my money. Hopefully we turn a profit here, because if we don't, the order chest will arrive in 15 seconds. Well, this sounds like a really good opportunity for me to get elbow deep in some garbage like the man that I am. Let's go do it. I don't see any other trash cans. Apparently, sanitation is not a concern inside this particular municipality. Oh, there's one. There's one. 
Don't mind me, I'm just digging through the trash for free money. Just digging through the trash for some free monies. Listen, man, I'd dig through the trash too if there was 80 bucks in there. That's a lot of money. Alright. So we've got a whole bunch of shoes. We can make about a 15 profit off of each of these shoes. Let's do it. Like, it wants me to fiddle with stuff. I don't think that I need to. I don't see, like, a reason to make my life difficult here. Like, if we're making a profit of 13 off each one of these, I'm okay with it. Let's do it. And so we'll place the item right there. We got some shoeses. What you going to doses with the shoeses? All right. And then we got, like, this thing right here. What does this do? We can put it over here. And so we can put it at a 49% profit so it'll sell for, like, 76. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Throw it all on the table. If you're able. All right. So we got a whole bunch of stuff lined up. And we still got more things to sell, too. Let's open the shop. Come one. Come all. Look upon the finery inside of this fabulous establishment. Anybody? You know, I was expecting kind of Black Friday lines out the door. And now I'm just disappointed. Now I just feel bad about myself. You guys had a really, really stellar opportunity, people of the township. You guys had a great opportunity to make me feel confident, you know, and to feel a real sense of self-worth. And you took that from me. You took it from me. Thanks, life. Greetings, sir. You with your weird goat beard. How are you feeling today? Would you like to buy some shoes? Oh, man, that's awesome. Nice. So apparently I got 44 bucks. Sounds good. We made an extra $15. Nice. They bought that, too. Apparently, they added voiceovers. The little people talk now. I can put the bandana right over there. Nobody wants my super awesome rock on a stick? Why not? It's a really good rock on a stick. It's probably one of the best rocks on a stick you've ever seen. Look at it. Look at it right now. It even comes with an attached... Look at that. It's got an attached dream catcher on it to make sure you don't have nightmares. You gotta get better at marketing out here. This is a good deal. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let me get those points, though. Let me get those points, though. I'll put that bandana right there. I love the way that they put the stuff on when they walk out. It makes me happy. Oh, uh, yeah, I could throw some gloves. Why are you guys trashing my story? Did you seriously just poop an entire apple onto my floor? Dude, chew your food. That's horrible for your digestive tract. Like, help me out here. Oh, man. Help yourself, in all honesty. Help yourself. This guy's coming in. Can I just, like, talk to him? You want some cloth gloves? Nice, he bought the gloves, I think. Yeah, he bought the gloves. You want to buy something else? Oh, you can only interact with them once. Okay, all right. I get how it works now. I get how it works. Apparently, the shirt can't... Oh, he's wearing shoulder pads now. Nice. See, now you look way more awesome. Instead of looking like a level 1 World of Warcraft character, you look like a Town Guard or like a level 5 World of Warcraft character. Or maybe like one of the legacy World of Warcraft characters when you've got like those heirlooms or whatever they are. Heirlooms kind of ruined the game for me in World of Warcraft. It made it not fun to play outs, I guess, because like you had like the full suit of heirlooms or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm... You're quite welcome. You enjoy that rock on a stick. With its attached string ACOG. It's impossible to miss. If you manage to miss with that gun, then you weren't going to hit in the first place. I put on my common shirt because it said it gave me armor. And I felt like armor might be a good thing to have. Because in this game, it's not just like the first shopkeep where all you do is mess with your shop. In this game, we get to free roam. And we get to go out and find things. And make blueprints. And build magical items that we can sell for insane prices. Utterly ridiculous prices. You're not gonna, You're not going to make a mess in my store, are you? Please tell me you're not going to make a mess in my store. I would love it if you would not. Well, I think we've had a pretty successful day of buying and selling. I think we should probably close down the shop. I feel like things went pretty well. In the town of Chedsmith. What is this? Oh, it's an item grinder, so I can just, like, throw stuff in there to get rid of it. All right, so how much money did we make today? Let's go to our vault. Made $744. Oh, you gotta hold it down. I was gonna say, give me my money! It's my money and I need it now! I have a structured settlement, so give me my cash. 
Uh, so we got to pay taxes on some of this stuff. We owe 30 bucks there. Oh, you've got to leave it in the vault. Gotcha. Okay, well then I guess I will be pragmatic with my cheddar. And we will put $250 inside the bank. I don't know if investing in the bank does anything. Honestly, in real life, bank dividends are so tiny that I don't even know why they offer them in the first place. Like, it, it's ridiculously small. Basically, they just get to hold all of your money and invest it for their own profit while kicking you nothing in return. Like, they've somehow managed to make that happen in the greater scheme of things. What kind of items can we unlock? Oh, we can get a Gladius? Nice, dude. Well, like, I have 18 rating points, so I don't have enough rating points to do what I want to do right now. So, what we'll do is we will add some masks in. Add some shirts in. Probably get some, like, let's maybe get some shoes in here. Just so we have, like, filler, you know what I mean? You gotta have, like, filler in the store. You know it's filler. Alright, we're gonna order everything. Our shopping basket is ready to go. I'm gonna go find some more trash cans to root through while we wait for the while we wait for the supply cash to arrive. All right, it's important to me. Oh, good, our order's arrived. Well, let's head on over there. Ooh, I can press Q to get skills. Ooh, so I can get an order discount. Oh, that probably would have helped. That probably would have been really really nice to have. What else do we have? So we have management over here. Okay. So I assume for movement, that costs nothing. So we will unlock sprint, and then our stamina will drain slower. Let's also take that. I don't think I have enough business points from the business factory yet in order for us to buy anything good. It looks like the only thing that we can get is delivery time. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I do want to get the order discount, though, so we can make a bunch more money. That seems like the most obvious thing to get early on, because over the long term, I feel like that's going to save you a lot of money. There we go, 92 bucks right there. All right, let me get a few more objects and we'll take these on back to the shop. Uh, does this game have the same thing the first game had where you set up like automated defenses to kill thieves and stuff like that? I hope it does, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, we'll put a bandana right there. Put a bandana right there. Nice, well I think we're, re we're ready to reopen the shop, let's do it. Open the shop. Don't open the shop, baby. Alright, I realize it's like 7.30 at night, but this is the modern world. Stores stay open until midnight, so y'all need to get in here and buy my stuff. Buy my stuff, you mooks! Apparently it wants me to order a water bottle. Let's order some water bottles because it'll make the game happy. And then maybe I can just hand them out to the thirsty people of the world. Oh, nice. That actually concluded a quest. What's going on, evening shopper? How you doing? You have a good day just lazing about and sleeping through the afternoon? Andredge? That's right, Andridge. That's what you get. Get on in here and buy some stuff. Be productive with your life. Mm-hmm. Become a functioning consumer. Become part of the market. The market protects us. Would anyone like to buy a shirt? Hi. You want to buy some shoes? I'm a oh, this is great. Well, there you go. I think the shoes cost, like, what did the shoes cost? Because I just sold them for 59 Shoes cost 29 All right. Sounds like a, pl did this guy steal something? Hey, why are you running? Why are you, why are you running? Did that guy steal from me? I think that guy just stole from me. Oh, he did. How do I stop a thief? I don't have a weapon. I need like a, I need a thief whooper. Where do I get a thief whooper from? Hmm. I'm gonna get a thief whooper. I gotta, I gotta order a rock on a stick. It's the only way this is gonna work out for all of us. I'm gonna sprint over here real fast. Give me a second. I gotta pick up this order. All right. Got the water bottle. You there, sir. Would you like to buy some fine shoes? There you go. There you go. There you go. Buy them shoes. Get them for yourself. I don't know what I'm selling these for. I'm selling them at 44 and he just bought them for 55? Well, maybe I'm selling too low then. Seems possible. You're just browsing, thanks? How about you're just buying, bro? 
How about that? I'm gonna bump this up to 122 real fast. There you go, there you go. How much did that cost? That cost more than 122, didn't it? Oh no, we made like 30 bucks on it. Okay, that's fine. I just want to finish the quest. That's all that I really want to do is I want to finish off the quest. We got nobody else coming in, so I'm going to go grab my... You would think that we could just beat them with the repair hammer, but I guess that we can't. Now I have a rock on a stick, so if anybody tries to steal from me, I can beat them half to death because that's how life works. Go to my inventory. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my glorious, unstoppable rock on a stick? There we go. Now we've got the glorious, unstoppable rock on a stick. And if anybody tries to steal my stuff, bam, they gonna get it. Bam! You just catch them with one of those right there. You catch them with that medieval heater. Alright, so we'll put that right there. That's priced at like, what, 130? I was gonna say, don't try to steal nothing from me. I'm watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching you. Alright, so let's go with some wooden shoes. You can buy those right there. Nice. We did the under the table quest. Apparently, if I sell by hand, I probably don't have to pay taxes on it, would be my guess. That's my my expectation is that what we're, what we're practicing right now is colloquially known as tax evasion. Uh, so for now, with all that money that we're making under the table, we're going to have to find like other businesses that we buy out. And then we take the money that we take by hand underneath the table, in the beneath the table, through the asshole of the table... And then what we'll do is we just slowly circulate that into the clean money from our other business. Like, we have this business right here, but we don't want the dirty money mixed in with the inventory from this business. We want it mixed in on a business that's like somebody else's name is on the management title card. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, thank, you. thank you for buying those shoes. I appreciate it. Does anybody else want to buy any stuffses? Hello. You want to buy these shoes? You want to buy this water bottle? I'll sell it to you for five dollars. You want this? I'll sell it to you for five dollars. Mm-hmm. Got you a water bottle. You look parched. I know it's raining out, and you could just like look at why are there so many crows around? Do you guys have like an extra just influx of dead bodies or something? Why are there so many crows? Why is it so terrifyingly populated with sky carrying out here? Oh, I gained a rating point. Nice. Why is my shop appeal bad? Is it because this stuff's broken? That can't be it, right? Maybe I have to buy decorations or something? Did you? I didn't see you buy anything. You're not wearing any shoes or gloves. What didst thou buy, Mohawked Maiden? Hmm? Hmm? I gotta talk like Richard Garriott for a little while in my video. Betwixt mine store! Thou canst go forth and adopt thine shirt. Gotta make this out like an Ultima game. Add a little bit of extra... Add a little bit of extra mythology to it. Nice, dude. Making that money. Apparently nobody wants to go shopping at 4.30 in the morning. Except for this guy. What's going on, Mergina? I knew I kept this store open for something. Mm -hmm. Get on in here. Buy you something nice. You deserve it. Here, you want to buy these shoes first? I'm trying to I'm trying to double dip on these customers right here and get my money. If I can sell something for 50 bucks, we'll have 666 devil dollars. There we go. There we go. All right, well, she bought the mask. We're looking a little bit low on goods right now. So I'm going to close the door. Don't try to steal anything. I see you with that bandito mask on. I see you trying to Red Dead Redemption it up right now. You ain't fooling anybody. You ain't fooling anybody. All right, so tax control, it wants me to raise this to 15%, which is, like, really, really pricey. I guess I can pay 15% taxes. If you're wondering why you pay taxes in this game, it's because it upgrades the town. So, like, the more money you add into the town, the more there will be other supplementary buildings where you can craft items and make more expensive stuff. So you got to, like, pay a little to make a little, I guess, is the way that it works. So you'll want to actually keep your taxes somewhat high, even though it will lower your profit margins, I guess. Uh, I do think that having, like, more pedestals is a good idea. Let's go buy some more pedestals real fast. I have $616. All right, let's buy, like, six moss. That sounded like six to me. And so I'll put these sace over here inside of this building.
All right, so you go there. Nope. All the way around. Yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to look like an awesome store. I wonder if I can buy decorations or something to, like, spruce it up in here. I don't mean to sound negative, but our shop appeal right now is really, really terrible. It's not a good shop appeal. I would prefer that my shop appeal be pretty rad. So we need $250 invested in the town in order to unlock the cook. Sounds good to me. Now inside of my vault, I've got roundabout. We'll go like, we'll grab 800 buckaroonies out of there. I think we're actually making money. Like we are turning a profit. I think we made like 400 off that last go. It's time for another list of orders. So the masks and the gloves and the boots seem to sell pretty well. So we'll add like five of those, five of those, why not? Like five of those. Uh, the rock on a sticks don't really seem to sell, but the shoes do. The shoes seem to sell really, really well, and they seem to sell at a margin that's really satisfying. I guess I'll buy like two more shirts. Oh, the order price is too high. Okay, well, we can take it back. We, we can walk this back. We can fix this. We can fix this. Nobody panic. We can fix this. There we go. So we have fixed our financial situation. But my name is Splattercat. This is Shuffle Beep 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 Keep Two. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been a lot of fun. I was really bummed out when I couldn't play this game due to the fact that like it had just a bug for me that made the frame it ran at one frame per second. Like it was like it would report that it was running at 60 frames per second, but it was clearly running at like five frames per second. It was super choppy and was never able to figure out what was causing it, and neither could, like, anybody else on Steam. It happened to, like, a very isolated group of users. And so, anyways, it's finally fixed now, so we can play the game. Like, I know this one's been out for a while, but this is a premium opportunity for me to play something that I've wanted to play for a while and just get trucking, you know, just get moving. I've had this one on the shelf for quite a bit, and plus, it patched recently so they're still like working on the game and fiddling with it i'll see y'all later thank you for stopping on in if you want to get the game for yourself i got a description for you down below where you can find that link my name is splattercat i sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to i appreciate you stopping on in leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more i'd love to turn this into a series and i will see you all with something hot and fresh tomorrow in the world of indie gaming goodbye